Hey guys, and my treasure hunter here, back with another Pokemon Go tips and tricks. And today we're going to be going back to the 100% ban proof Pokemon Go bot video that I made. Going to give you some more information to add safety to the possibility of getting your account soft banned, permanently banned, IP banned. One of the the most difficult things or time consuming things with making new accounts is setting up the email. There's lots of different ways. People are like, oh, make Gmail accounts. Don't make Gmail accounts. All the links are going to be in the description. The quickest, best way, all right, is to use this right here. It's called 10minutemail.com. I found them to be the easiest. When you first come to the link, it's going to give you an email address. Right here, it just generates a random one. And this is a town countdown timer, obviously. When this gets to zero, this is gone. So you got to be quick. So we're going to go ahead and click right here. Copy to the clipboard. We're going to come over. We're going to be making trainer club accounts. Much easier to deal with. But as you know, trainer club account, any account, you have to verify it. It'll run for two days and then it has to be verified. That's why you got to have a whole email thing and such. Create an account. Okay. This because I've already set it up once it's given me the date most important thing when you get to the part of the date make sure it's the year 2003 or before so I go with 2000 or before to be safe any other you know month and day doesn't matter continue another difficult thing is trying to figure out a username that is not already taken but I checked this one out earlier and you guys can have it I don't care it's just a throwaway I called it dumb dumb 87369 check availability yes it's available alright now it's got to be at least a six digit password now I would suggest making your passwords a lot more secure than this but for purposes of this video one two three four five six one two three four five six email address right click paste right click paste there's that email that this account generated and is ticking down to expire no I don't want that no I don't want them to publish it accept the terms of use click on I am not a robot storefronts I don't like these challenges sometimes they're hard to tell Okay, let's see. All right, continue. Okay, there you go. So now it said, yes, you've created one. Now remember, you can play on an account for two days, but then it needs to be verified or it will stop working. So then we come back over here and we just wait. And I will probably cut the video short, but it usually takes less than one minute for the verification email to actually pop up. You don't need to refresh the page or nothing. There it is right there. Just popped in. I click on this. I go down. Verify your email. Thank you for signing up. Your account is now active. So we are now signed up. And that account that is clicking down with that email, it will just expire. You never need it again. Your account is all set up. Okay. You can do that step over and over and over and over and create as many email addresses. None of this Google verification stuff. It's as simple as that. Now you're going to want to bring in your phone into the mix here. Another very important part left out of the last video. Completely works. The last video works. I haven't gotten so much as a soft band. These are just adding some more steps to make it even more secure. So go ahead and now actually log into this account from your phone not from your computer actually from your phone before continuing on with the rest of that video so we're gonna go ahead and go to trainer club and we're gonna enter this account that I just made up dumb dumb and you guys whoever wants it you can have it it was made just for the purposes of this video and there we go brand new account 
Okay, so we set up the email. We actually logged in to this new account from our phone, not with an ox, you know, not with the bot. We've logged in with the actual account, did the basic setup. Go back over and watch this video, which I'll have the link in the description, and watch it up to the point of where you get this message. Because this is going to go over basically downloading it, setting up the bot, reading and getting information for your phone. Um, to, and so, like I said, this, this video still is primarily the video to use we're just adding in a couple extra security steps to it so the next security step well let's just go to pretend that basically you've downloaded it which the download will once again be in the description I'm gonna extract it the password I put on this is 10k 10k the k is lowercase 10k that's the password to get in and unlock this there is no files in the configuration folder yet you actually have to watch this video go through the steps of running this this is extremely important you have two options at this point because we've added in the logging in from your phone when you logged in you just basically told the system where you're at GPS wise so you either need to look up in Google and find coordinates that are only a couple miles away from your physical location of where you just logged in a park that's close to you or pick an area in your town that has some pokey stops around it um, just keep it within a couple miles option number two wait at least an hour and then put in wherever you want so if you want to be botting in Central Park then wait an hour you know give it some cool down period because you you just logged in with your phone if you if you go ahead and set this bot up and jump to Central Park you're gonna get a soft man you're, you're gonna throw up a flag so either bot in your own town which is the safest it's the safest thing to do close by or wait don't continent jump for botten don't have non-regional pokemon in your pokédex that's another red flag if you have the regional locked ones from other areas in your pokédex it's probably going to get yourself banned. Set this up the way that you want to do it. After you set it up, you're going to basically hit enter. And all this information for setting this up is in this video right here. You hit enter, it starts to run it. You just close it out. Okay. Now you are going to go back to this video at this point and you're gonna watch this video until you get to this part right here once we get to this point okay and before we run the bot we're gonna go to and we're gonna add in another step we're going to actually add in a proxy to our bot so the easiest way to do that is go to Google just type in free proxy list very first one is going to be hide my arse come down here we're going to unclick sockets 4 5 unclick none unclick low unclick include unclick slow I'm going through this fast I've been told my videos are too long unclick all countries and just enter which country that you're actually in just a suggestion but that's what I would do hit update results and there you go pick a proxy pick one that basically looks like it's performing well and this is going to be your information and I put in my GPS location 
so I hit enter and basically it started the bot, shut the bot down. Now when I open up the config, now I've got these two files here. Right click on it, still suggest note plus plus. You've got your player club, um, username and password, and you're going to change the proxy. Use proxy, say true use proxy host. Now that's where you just come over here, pick one. This one looks like, uh, let's use this one. This one looks like a good one. You can just highlight it, copy it, come over here. Now, these must be in quotation marks. So, Okay, the video that you've watched will have already told you how to set this up. So this is going to already be this this is already going to be set up. When you're stopping that video and coming and coming back, what you're actually doing is you're actually coming in and adding just this little part. You're going to be changing the proxy to true and putting the IP in the port number. Saving it. you are actually just ready to run to come back and to go ahead and click this and run it also with doing this proxy you can set up and run as many of these accounts as you want just make sure that each of the proxies are different don't put down don't set up four accounts and set the pro same proxy cuz it'll get you soft banned okay guys so that's about it add these extra steps in and you will be as safe as you can possibly be now also what you do with your account afterwards I'm not responsible okay if you go out and you start you know you level up you use your bot and you get up to level 16 then you go down the road and you start battling at your local gym that could get you soft banned that could put you on a flag list I don't do that so I can't confirm or deny that what I use the botting for is one reason, one reason only. To get a player up into a higher range, a brand new player, and to collect higher Pokemon. I'm not talking sniping, because sniping will get you soft banned at the least. Soft banned basically pretty much equals hard banned down the road. Not guaranteed, but pretty much thinking that's the way that they're going. I'm using these accounts to get my accounts up to, like, say, a level 20 and just let it run its course and collect me some good Pokemon that I can trade to my legit players later on when trading comes into the game. That's it. Add them extra couple steps in and you should be golden. Please like and subscribe. Really trying to grow this channel my contest is about to kick off it's gonna be a real contest I'm not gonna be giving away accounts because I just showed you how to easily make an account anybody can make an account and I'm not gonna be giving away accounts I'm actually gonna be giving away something much better than accounts it's gonna be something that you can use on your legitimate accounts you're gonna to wanna to be a subscriber you're gonna to wanna to get in on this contest because I'm gonna be giving away some decent stuff till the next video take care and go catch them all.